Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you're having a blessed Lord's Day for all of you who are able to attend your local church meetings. I trust that you're able to rejoice in the Lord. And for those of you who can't, uh, I know we have live streaming and other ways that people are jumping into their church services. This has been an unusual year, of course. I wanted to hop on this video just for a moment because as our family attended our church meeting this morning, I was talking to another couple and the wife said, she said, it's, you know, it's kind of dark around our house. And this is the first Sunday after the election. Of course, the election is not quite over and we're not sure how things are going, uh, but it looks like that we're going to have uh, President elect Biden and, and Senator Harris as our president and vice president. Maybe that is not the outcome, but that's the way it looks now. And as I was talking to this one family, they did say, you know, things are really dark around our house. And I understand that. Uh, I understand the perspective and the hope that they have for their country. And, and, and more so, I mean, as a father, I have the, the same hopes for our children that they can grow up in a conservative country. And it appears that there are some things that are going on. We're not altogether sure. And maybe it would take years to, to figure that out. But I just wanted to jump on this video and, and just share with you that we do need, as I told this family, this dad, we do need to resist the temptation to uh, go into despair and, and discouragement. As I was talking to him, you know, if you start with disappointment, there can be a progression that leads downward to some bad places. And I just challenged him to guard his mind against those kinds of things. And so if you're disappointed in something, whether it's a national election or, or something more local, or maybe even your own family or personal life, at that point of disappointment, we do need to guard our hearts because you can be disappointed and then you can be discouraged. And then if the discouragement continues, you can go into despair. And then after a while, uh, to follow the D words, you can be uh, depressed. You can actually live in depression. And that's just where I challenged him. And if this applies to any of you all, I, I would have the same appeal to you. If disappointment is where you are right now, I totally understand it. I too am disappointed how these things are working out, but I must take my soul to task because I don't want that disappointment to turn into discouragement and then it, it metastasizes into despair and then I find myself in a place of depression because once you go down that, that downward path, uh, you're open up to a lot of other things like bitterness and cynicism and pessimism, maybe gossip, slander, and all, all sorts of things. We must be good sovereignists regardless of what's going on in our circumstances. And so my appeal to you as I also challenge my own self, yes, we're disappointed, but we are sovereignists and God, is, God has this thing. I don't know where it's going, but similar to when the Lord uh, told Joseph and his family, or told his family, I want you to go to Israel. Uh, they didn't know how all that was going to work out, but Joseph was already there. He, God was working his plan, a greater redemption story. And I want you to know that wherever you are today, God is ahead of you. He is already preparing. He is working out his redemptive story. I am not suggesting that it's just going to be uh, a easy street and everything is just going to go according to our best well-laid plans. But I am saying that we do need to trust the Lord. So just uh, take that as a challenge. Also, if we can serve you in any way, please come to us, talk to us. Uh, let us uh, just give you whatever advice we can. We want to serve you in whatever way we can. So guard your heart against discernment. Don't follow that downward path. Let's trust the Lord as we actively impact our families, our communities, and continue to seek to make a difference for the cause of Christ. I hope you all have a blessed Sunday. Thank you for watching.